I'm great. How are you guys? Good. So what's the timetable for you to get out there and run around and be a, a part of, of uh, the on-field stuff, whether it be OTAs, mini camp, training camp? What are you looking at? Yeah, right now we're just taking it day by day. Um, I'm, I'm feeling better every day, honestly, and so I'm hoping it goes quickly. But yeah, get to work with a great training staff and, and right now just taking a lot of mental reps and I'm excited to be ready to go. What percentage would you say you're at in, in your recovery right now? Um, it's hard to say. I'm getting close, though. Um, I, like I said, feeling better every day and um, feeling stronger and, and faster. And so uh, it's coming along, and I'm excited to get to work. Are you running now, or? Yeah, yeah, I'm able to run, and and so it's just kind of doing the the fine details of the movements you have to do on a football field, and um, and yeah. Stability-wise, you feel all right. Flexibility, like. Yeah, yeah, it's feeling good. Um, it's it's just going to be a, a little bit of time and, like I said, taking it day by day and, and get better every day. Do you think you'll be ready by training camp? Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. Okay, if you're not participating yourself, how much does it help you to be able to see it really to visualize things as you're trying to pick up the offense and what they want to affect? It helps a lot. Yeah. Um, I think it's just a big mentality thing. You know, you got to be checked in every single play as if you're you're going to you're going to do the play. So um, just just being able to soak in the offense, the, the verbiage, and uh, love what I've seen and heard so far. And I'm super excited for the opportunity to be a part of it. Hey, this is kind of a wide receiver driven offense, but obviously the tight end can play a prominent role. Look at what Gronk's been able to do. Yeah. What are your thoughts when you had a chance to sit in the meetings and get your first stab at the playbook about what the tight end does in this offense and how it fits your skill set? Yeah, I think it's it's a great fit and um, it's super cool to see the the way this offense treats their tight ends. You know, it we can basically line up in, in any spot on the field and run all the same routes as right wide receivers do. And so um, it's a great opportunity to to be a big part of the team and contribute to the offense in a big way. Did you have a lot of experience running like option routes and choice routes at Washington or is this something that's a little bit new for you? We did a little bit of it, but um, definitely something uh, that's more prominent here, and so it, it's a it's a really cool opportunity to learn and uh, pick up on a new skill and, and really hone in on it. And so, um, obviously, the offense has been really successful in past years, and I'm just hoping to to add to it. Kate, I'm just curious. A, a lot of skill players today, they majority all wear gloves, but you went barehanded at Washington. Was that just more of a comfort thing? And do you feel like you're repping for the old school crowd at all? <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but yeah, it's just something since I started playing football in second grade that uh, just never really worn gloves and always felt comfortable without them. And so um, never really felt the, na the need to change it up. Um, who knows, I, I wouldn't put it past putting gloves on, but right now I, I love playing without them. Okay, you got such a young room to get you and Poe and, and Ben that are signing the new tryout guys there. Is it neat just to be part of what right now is a very young group of tight ends? Yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, we're all learning together right now and um, Really excited to work with them and then uh, learn from the older guys. You know, there's a lot of a lot of experience there too, and so um, just super excited for that opportunity to play with a lot of great players. We heard that there were a few guys in the locker room that were kind of huddled up around Tom's locker. Um, were you one of those guys, and or what's it like walking into a locker room and seeing Tom Brady uh, that nameplate? Yeah, it's super surreal. Uh, I I wasn't one of those guys, but. Um, I wouldn't put it past myself to do that. Um, but yeah, just, just super cool. Um, but ultimately, like he's, he's going to be one of my teammates, and um, we got to be able to work together. And so I um, haven't met him yet, but I'm super excited to and, and just get to work. You know, there's, there's kind of a, a detachment when you're away from the team, but like when you're a part of the team, I, you got to be cohesive and, and put in the same work. And so I'm super excited for that. When you look at, at Co Keefe, I don't know if you've had a chance to see some of his blocking film from uh, from Minnesota, but what are your thoughts on that? I mean, this guy really gets after it in terms of putting people on the ground. Yeah, absolutely, and I, I love that. That's a big fan of his game, and you see it out at um, these walkthroughs and, and practices already that he's a physical player, and I, that, I think that's a really valuable part of – a team, especially just the mentality of, of wanting to do some of that dirty work. And so 
Um, been fun getting to know him, and I'm excited to work with him. Coming from Washington, have you had a chance to talk to, to Joe or Vita about just the climate change from Seattle to Tampa, especially when training camps here in August where it's stifling the hot and humid? Yeah, yeah, I've talked to them, and um, they've been a lot of help, a great resource already, but but yeah, they said it's a little bit of an adjustment, you know, and, and that's what everyone has said. And um, but but people are able to do it. It's just going to take some time and work, just like anything. And um, I'm looking forward to the challenge. You guys just got here. And, you know, the veterans are in phase two. Have you had any talk, uh, talks at all with some of the veterans? Any like brain training? No, I haven't gotten to meet any of them yet. Um, I think we will this this coming week, and so. Uh, yeah, just super excited to, to meet them, get to know them, and then uh, just learn a lot of football from them because they, they've seen a lot of a lot of ball, played in a lot of big games, and so it's going to be a really cool cool thing. What are your impressions of Coach Bowles? Uh, I already can tell he's he's a great coach, great manager of people, which is I think is a big part of being a head coach, and um, and so yeah, I I already feel like inspired playing under him and. Um, I'm super excited to just get everyone together in the team setting and and have him as the the head of our our ship and so yeah. Great manager of people. That's that's interesting that you you came away with that observation already. What like what kind of uh, I guess triggered that in your mind? I think just the the way he treats people and the respect he commands. Um, and just like the, in, the intentionality of his word choice. I, I, that's all kind of stuck out to me already. And so um, I'm excited to just be with him for a full season and, and uh, kind of get to know him and, and learn from him. He doesn't necessarily, like, like Bruce Arians was a, a guy, and I, I know you obviously didn't deal with Arians, but you know, he cursed and stuff. Whereas Bowles says, you know, I may, I, may, I may communicate the same thing, but just in a different way with sarcasm. Is that, is that you know, with a coach that's like that, is that can that be just as effective? Like, does a coach need to be yelling and screaming? And I know you've, you've played a lot of football in your life. I know yeah. that you're you're just now getting into the NFL level, but but I am curious. Yeah, I've had all types of different coaches who communicate things in different ways, and as long as the information is getting across, I think it's it is what it is, and you can learn from it, you know. And so um, I know Coach Arians was a great coach, and he got his information across in a certain way, and, and Coach Bowles is going to do it in a different way. And, and that's what great coaches do. That's all. Thanks, kid. Thank you, guys. Thank you.